Acceptable Use Policy, Information and Communication Technologies, Saigon South International School. Wow, I bet most of you feel like Jonathan when you try to read or listen to the AUP in the handbook. The adults don't always get it either, so we decided to break it down for you to make it easier to understand, because it's important for you to know. It's like having to wear a school uniform, only a much bigger deal. The opening part basically tells you why we have a policy like this at SSIS. SSIS really wants you to have access to technology. You can learn a lot of great things with and through technology. And you need to be able to connect to the digital world we live in in a positive way. But this access is a privilege and whether you keep that privilege depends on you and how you act. First, you gotta be responsible. Everything you do with technology is on you. If you do good things and make good choices, the results will be good. If you do bad things and make bad choices, the results will be bad. Both the good and the bad are on you. You gotta use your time wisely. Games like Minecraft, listening to music, watching videos, chatting online with friends are all great. But there's a time and a place for those, which may not be in class. You gotta be kind. You know the Esler that says respect for all? That applies to tech use, too. Think about what you say and do online and how it might affect other people. Don't break the law. Even though a law might not be enforced in Vietnam, if you're not sure you're doing the right thing, ask someone. I didn't know. It's just an excuse. Saigon South International School believes that all students should have access to technology when they act in a responsible, efficient, courteous, and legal manner. Now, let's talk about the details. You have to use school accounts like Gmail, Google Drive, Moodle, SSIS Blogs, SSIS2, not your Yahoo or personal Gmail accounts, Skype, and Facebook. At SSIS, you have access to a lot of great networks and websites like BrainPop, online textbooks, Scratch, TumbleBooks, Discovery Education. You have to use these learnings. That's why we are here, right? to learn. Don't be telling other people private info, yours or anyone else's. No full names, not where you live, phone numbers, things like that. At SSIS, we will not put up with bullying, period. So what does bullying look like with technology? Posting something mean or negative about someone, even if you think or know it's true. Always stop and think before you post. How would you feel if someone wrote that about you? We don't believe in retaliation or revenge. So, if you have a problem with someone, talk to them. If that doesn't work, talk to an adult you entrust. Don't post your drama. And if you have to ask, is this post okay? Then, probably isn't. Don't give your passwords to anybody. Don't use anyone else's passwords either. No hacking. So if you forget your password, don't use someone else's. Get it reset. If you know a classmate is not being safe or respectful, Tell an adult. It's part of the teacher's and principal's job to keep you safe. Help each other use SSIS technology resources. Share your mad skills with your classmates. You might be really good at using Scratch. You should teach other kids that what you can do with it. Collaborate with each other because that's a great way to learn. Just because you can edit, comment, or add to a document or a class collaboration doesn't mean you can do whatever you like. Stay on task and don't be disruptive. Don't kill too many trees. Print with permission. Most everything can be done digitally. Furthermore, internet access and other online services available to students and teachers offer a multitude of global resources. No privacy at school or with your school netbooks. Besides, if it's some app or song or resource you need for class and learning, SSIS will probably get it for you. Or, how about creating something original with GarageBand or iMovie or Puppet Pals or a thousand other apps? And there's already a lot online you can use. Ever heard of Creative Commons? Learn how to cite your sources correctly. If you don't know how, teachers will help you. Or you can go online to find tons of services that basically do it for you. Don't plagiarize or copy. Not something you find online, in, printed materials, or another student's work. Give credit. Don't act like it's your hard work, your idea, or your writing, if it isn't. 
Our goal in providing these services is to enhance the educational development of our students. You're a member of the SSIS community. Whether you want to or not, you represent our school. You should be a good citizen. So communicate with kindness and respect. If any post, photo, or whatever online makes you feel uncomfortable or scared or embarrassed, tell an adult. School rules about how to act and how to treat others all apply to digital and online use. Some examples are, don't be rude, don't threaten people, don't discriminate against people, don't harass, hurt, or abuse anyone. Work hard to be a good friend and stand up for what's right. Don't start drama. Don't participate in drama. Don't creep on someone else's drama. Unless you're in drama class, then give an Oscar-worthy performance. Don't pass on spam, junk mail, or those if you don't send this 10 people in the next hour, you will grow a second head kind of emails. You can't run a business on campus or through technology at school. The only buying, selling, advertising allowed has to be approved before you do it and has to be for school, not you personally. And finally, there are certain games that are not appropriate at school. First-person shooter games or violent games, games with bad language or inappropriate graphics. You know what we're talking about. Acceptable use of technology applies to all technological-based devices maintained by the school and or personal technology-based devices used during school hours. We hope you understand the AUP a little better now. You need to, because if you break these rules, you will get in trouble and nobody wants to get in trouble. Remember, too, that because all of the technology on campus and your netbooks belong to SSIS, they can take a look at anything you do online, just like they can open your locker. They can even take away your access privileges. And if they think someone's in danger of any kind, they will take it away. A great thought to keep in mind is this. Don't do anything through or with technology that you would be embarrassed for a grandmother to see. Now, now go, go learn, learn something. something. The following are our agreements about the use of technology at Saigon South International School. Using the ICT equipment correctly and responsibly is very important.